meeting with Matrix. Yes, right Matrix Chris. and Casal today. And we've been eating spaghetti actually because you're trying to bribe <laughs> us. So this episode is about actually negotiations because when you are an entrepreneur, if you do a startup or like us, we are going international mm. uh, to be able to negotiate effectively. Yeah, that is really important. Mm. Now, as we are going international, we are negotiating a lot with our vendors, vendors that are delivering our fitness equipment. equipment. Yeah, yeah. So we are done for several months. We have worked with this new deal to make sure we have the best offers the best prices and we have the vendor that can help us mm. the most so that's what we're going to talk about and we're going to show you some footage from the meetings, from the meetings yeah. then we're going to talk about some advice and how you can negotiate more effectively yeah. It's a really busy day today. Right now I'm going over for a meeting with a potential vendor. Since we're going international with our concept, we are going to new negotiations with different fitness equipment vendors. We will see who wants us the most. Our plans are to open several hundred gyms throughout Europe over the next year. So they are of course very interested in, uh, in being part of that. I'm trying to put these two companies up against each other to see who will give us the best offer. We're trying to not just have a vendor, we want to have a stakeholder, we want to have a company that has a big interest in our success. If they want a part of our business, they have to support us a lot to also help us in our business and in our growth. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so, Seattle, we're yeah. on our way to negotiate with uh, actually our most important vendor for the yeah. fitness equipment. Matrix. Matrix. They're competing with the Techno Gym for our business. So uh, we're going to push them on prices. So what do you think with the negotiations? Uh, I mean, I think prices is one part of it. And uh, yeah. also the, the way they could help us into new markets. Yeah. Uh, when we go to a different country, we, we will need uh, uh, help from uh, our vendors. Yeah. So I think uh, those two parameters are the most important ones. Yeah. Um, I agree. Hopefully they will show us uh, some feedback on what we uh, asked them about last time we met. Yeah. Because this is, of course, it's uh, many meetings, as you know. Absolutely. It's not one meeting yeah. and uh, then you make a deal like yeah. this. It's yeah, eight or ten. Well, if you're going to give people one good advice on negotiation to get the best deal, what would you say? Play the two biggest competitors up against each other yeah. and uh, be transparent. Yeah. Hi guys. Yeah. Hi. Say hey. Hello. <laughs> Meeting with Matrix. Yes, right Matrix Chris. and Casal today. And we've been eating spaghetti actually because you're trying to bribe us. <laughs> we have so low margins <laughs> that we, we need to to, uh, to offer cheap food. Okay, I'm so looking forward it. to the meeting. What are, what are we going to talk about? Today talk we're going about. to talk about the expansion to uh, Europe. Hopefully okay. we can be a part of that with Matrix and Johnson. Okay. Uh, so we'll see. I'm having a meeting at Techno Gym in Norway. They want us as customers, of course. Of course. And um, trying to get the best deal as possible. So, uh, Hokon is the big boss, and uh, why should we choose you? Well, uh, of course, you, you guys are focusing on quality. Yeah. You're looking for a partner to grow in Europe. Mm. And I think we have the network, uh, all the products, the services, and the network you need. Mm. Uh, so I think we can make you very successful in your uh, in your expansion plans. <laughs> Let's see what happens then. Yeah, great. <laughs> We're going to hear the presentation for what kind of offer you have for us. <laughs> so we also have uh, Frederik and Chatel ready yes. to negotiate. So. Are you ready, Christelle? I'm ready, I'm ready. Do you have some good offers uh, oh, for yeah, us? It's the best. It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> show, show us the money. <laughs> We 
thought we should talk about how to negotiate. Give some tips, give some advice to entrepreneurs. It's a really good yeah. tool to have. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, first of all, I think it's really important to make sure mm. that you have a good uh, chemistry. That yeah. You, that you, I mean, the people you are negotiating with, uh, it's good if they like you and yeah. if you have a good relationship with them. When it comes to negotiations, you should meet, pe meet people. Yeah. It's yeah. much easier to get uh, something good out of it. Mm. The second thing that is, I would say, to first think about what do your partner, the one you're neg negotiating with, what, what do they yeah. want? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's important for them? Basically, prepare before the negotiations. Yeah. Prepare. Make sure that you know uh, something about the one you're negotiating with. Yeah. And of course, that you know what you want to achieve. Mm. When you get into negotiations, yeah. you should always try to be in a position of strength. What position are you in? Mm. Uh, let's say this is a vendor, somebody that is selling you things and you yeah. want a better price or a better yeah, yeah, deal. Yeah. You should make sure that you are a good customer. So before you actually start to pressure them and, and demand better prices or whatever, mm. first you try to be a very good customer. You are a good person or a good company to cooperate with. Yeah. So they want to do more business. Also, I think uh, when you are in negotiations, yeah. it's always good to have somebody else that they can compete with. Even though you think that, okay, I'm going to continue to use this uh, vendor, for example, mm. it's always good to have another one to negotiate with at the same time. Yeah. Because you need to create a little positive pressure. It's always good for the other company or the other part to know that it it is possible to lose that business. Yeah, they're competing with some, someone else. Yeah, mm. and then they can actually compete with each other. You don't have to necessarily like be pressure them a lot or, or threaten them and do these <laughs> negative things. Yeah. You can just make sure they themselves are aware uh, of it. Aware of it, and they play with open cards. Absolutely, and they press each other. Mm. So I think that's you know, no matter what you do. In negotiation, make always sure that you have another part involved yeah. that uh, puts some pressure on the negotiations. Yeah. <laughs>